Here's for the, was it, trachnophobias? Uh, itchy, I'm itchy. Uh. <laughs> hey everybody, how we doing today? Beautiful day here in the Florida Keys. So uh, we are here at uh, Long Key State Park uh, doing some more prospecting. Uh, a couple things I want to do today is one is make sure that I can get down to the water using the uh, beach wheels there and then uh, probably head either to that far point over there to the uh, east as that'll be a good windbreak for the winds coming from the east that kind of corner there and then also going all the way to the bridge around that corner uh, that's about a mile or two miles away that way and then check the flats in between uh, mainly like I said do some prospecting scouting around see what's up but uh, anyways, that's the plan. Here we go with the kayak being fully loaded. That's everything minus the motor and then the outrigger there. So we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna go strapless since I'm just basically going straight down and see how we do. I'm on a little bit crooked. Beach wheel's working good. in the muck. Oh, digging a little bit. Digging just a little bit. Still not so bad. Fortunately, I think we are on the, uh, coming towards the uh, low tide at three o'clock, so we're right there at the uh, lowest point so by the time i get back the water level should be up by the edge there to make things a lot easier uh, i think we're deep enough finally yeah the wheels are submerged take them off slide it off let go. Oh. They're sticking. How are you sticking? Oh, it's buoyant, that's why. There it goes. Oh, that wasn't quite so elegant, but <laughs> it worked. Okay, we're running our way over to Long Key Bridge. Man, such beautiful flats around here. Just gorgeous. Definitely going to be the flat spot. Even for wading is probably quite well, but very, very nice out here. All right, so here's the edge beginning of the uh, long key bridge there it's so got a nice little wrap around got a lot of current coming through here looking for any tails there's a nice little beach seawall be nice if I can just launch right here but looks like a no-go I'm just gonna go around to the other side and take a look over there This bridge has really high arches, which is nice. Lots of current, dirty water. So this is the uh, golf side. I'm not sure why it's so dirty out here. It's like glacier runoff. 
Yeah, not gonna be good out here. This whole thing is just milky. So we'll go back to the flats on the other side. Yeah, that whole thing is just not good here. Yeah, whenever the water is like this, find a different spot. I mean, there's still fish here, but they don't like it either. Yeah, that is not good at all. All right, I'm calling it. I made my run, took a look at things. Um, actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load up, drive my car to the end, and I'm gonna walk the shoreline. And as you can see, it's so flat calm, I'd be able to see if anything's tailing, any uh, wakes from fish, and then uh, I could wade out to them. So, plus I wanna take a look at the edge of the shoreline to see what kind of, what it looks like over there. So let's get loaded up and uh, do some walking. Now let's see if we can do this uphill without straps. Seems to be going good. Beach wheels doing their job. Yeah, no straps needed. This kayak's pretty heavy, so that probably helps out as well. Perfect sauce. <laughs> nice. Now check this out, high technology. The pain in the ass throwing this all the way up towards the front there out of the way. But look what I got. Oh. Bam! Look at that. Look how easy that is. Oh. So nice. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of shoreline prospecting. You can see how perfect the conditions are. It's an incoming tide, flat calm, and then I'll be able to see any uh, tailing permit. Bonefish might be a little harder, but I could still see fairly well. And if need be, I could walk out into the water. For permit, all I'm doing is looking for that stick right there. Just the tail sticking out. Rods, I've got the uh, seven and a half foot esky so I could cast a little farther. Uh, I got the uh, brown bucktail jig, got it tipped with a little shrimp tail on it. And then I'm carrying my little bait cooler because I got to keep the bait fresh. All about the bait. And I'm just going to walk down a bit. I'm not going to go too far. And just scope out the water looking for tails. Now that's a great photo. I get my shadow out of there. Oh, bend down, bend down. Angle up. Don't shake. Oh yeah. I think I found my fishing spot. <laughs> it's beautiful. Nice shade canopy there. Oh, nice view of the whole perimeter here. Long as the mosquitoes and no seams don't attack me. Uh, look at all the sand fleas. Bugs, bugs everywhere. I don't care, it's hot. Here's for the uh, trachneophobia people. It's in my skin. Wake up. Wake up. Come on, everybody, wake up. Wake up! Uh. All right, well, I've been hanging out here for an hour or so. The water's starting to come up beyond my walkway there. Uh, nothing really happened out here. No movement. 
but I'll keep an eye out. Uh, the water temps are like close to 90, if not 90 degrees plus. Uh, it's not the most comfortable even to be wading in. It's kind of like bath water. Uh, there's a breeze coming off from the south to the north and I could feel the heat coming off the water. It's like that <laughs> warm. So uh, I'm gonna just take a stroll back and just see what we can see. There's stuff over here running around. Let's go in that direction. I'm just seeing the uh, the wake, the V wake. All right, back safe and sound. I had a good day out on the water. That was a uh, Long Key State Park. Um, beautiful gorgeous flats out there i mean postcard picture perfect flats just nice white sand areas you got some broken bottom areas you have some nice um turtle grass areas so i mean in my eyes it's like it's perfect uh for fish i don't know um i still think that um having an escape route is very important for them uh that's why i like to find those style flats but next to like a, a pretty deep channel that cuts through there so they can basically go up on the flats if they feel a little sketchy they can just run back down or they continually run right along the edge of that flat um i think of it this way if i was uh if i was being hunted and i was out and there was basically a white sand desert i probably wouldn't go way out in the middle of the desert and just like hey look at me <laughs> i'd probably stick to the perimeters or try to find an uh, close to an escape route at all times and so that's kind of the only negative i think about that park it's basically five miles of that same beautiful flats uh it was unfortunate today that the uh, water was just so milky and dirty i have no clue why it was like that but that whole area by the long key bridge which i thought was going to be really good is just dirt so i couldn't see anything so we'll have to go back and check that out but uh anyways good day so uh good prospecting day so anyways uh thanks for watching and i will see you next video bye